the National Stock Exchange of India has been actively involved with initiatives to educate the young generation of our country on the importance of financial management. One such initiative is NSE Finwiz that focuses on educating and advising the young workforce of the country on wealth management to enhance financial literacy and to empower them. Insurance is for protection and investment is for growth. Another program facilitated by NSE IPFT is NSE Financial Quest. The Interschool Financial Quiz Contest goes an extra mile by educating the young students on fundamentals of finance. On the buzzer, what is this? It's the formula for the simple interest. Simple interest is the right answer. Under the NSC Financial Quest Base Camps banner, the program engages students around the year through workshops on various topics, projects, interactive videos, and quizzes. We can produce bouncing checks of Pan Am. Plus 75 on that one. Plus 75. To facilitate these two programs, NSC along with CNBC TV18 has travelled across the country to bridge the wide knowledge gap in terms of finance. In this episode of NSC FQ, we are all set to achieve our objective once again by gauging young minds in a new city. Hello and a warm welcome to NSC's Financial Quest Season 6. We come to you from the city of Patna. As we move across the length and breadth of this nation trying to find financial wizards, we have arrived in the city of Patna. A very, very quick preliminary, very high scoring preliminary that. With that, we came to the top eight at Patna. is going to win and be the champion of Patna is yet to be seen. For now, let me begin by introducing to you the top 8 at Patna. Let me begin then with the finals and the First of my segments that's going to come up for you, it's called Opening Bell, and here it comes. We start with table number one, International School, ICSE, and uh, there we go. Nifty 50 is the flagship index of this organization. The first question to International School, ICSE. You're passing. Okay, fair enough. I move you to table number two, St. Dominic Savios. It's NSE. NSE, and that stands for? National, National Stock Exchange. That's a very, very good. 75 points to you on table number two. International school, that was a bad miss. Very, very bad miss. I thought that was a simple question. You should have got it. Dominic Savio, question direct to you. And uh, on that is, this is defined as a sustained increase in the general level of prices for goods and services. So pass it. Passing. The scholars about table number three. Inflation. Inflation. Inflation means sustained increase in general level of prices. 75 points on a pass. 75 points on a pass. <laughs> Teams missing out on their own question but trying to answer somebody else's question. Hopefully you will crack your own for 75 points. These banks are usually made of ceramic or porcelain and are generally painted and serve as a device to teach the simple idea of saving to children. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Spell that for me. P I W G Y. But before that, do you want to invest? Or do you want to play it at the base value of 75? That is then. Base value. Okay, and your answer is? Piggy bank. The answer is a correct answer. Put your hands together for them. That's another 75 that they get. DPS, table number four, your question, or rather your statement. A slang term for the New Zealand dollar due to the appearance of it on the country's one dollar coin. Kiwi. Spell that? K-I-W-I. And what is a kiwi? It is a bird, national bird of New Zealand. Again, you want to play at base value, not in rest. No, stock it. market. Stock market, okay. And kiwi is the answer that you're giving. Plus 90 is what you get, well done. 
on a stock market investment, they're so eager to answer, they know it's the right answer, they're just not concerned about trying to gain more points. Next time, a little more patience, try and <laughs> increase your value. Okay, I'm moving on to table number five, that would be uh, International School CBSE, the two girls, your statement. A significant decline in economic activity spread across the economy, lasting more than a few months, normally visible in real GDP, real income, employment, industrial production, and wholesale retail sales. So pass it. You're passing it to table number six, HRDT Public School. Passing it. Mount Carmel? Pass. Pass. Three teams passing on this one, that's a surprise. Delhi Public School. The recession. On a pass. 75 points is what you get. Well done. Uh, across to HRDT. Your statement for 75 points. A place in New York City where the New York Stock Exchange and many financial businesses are located. Pass. Passing. Okay. Mount Carmel. Bill Street. Hmm, good try. No, across. Not Bill Street, the answer. Sunshine High School, table number eight. Pass it. Passing in a jiffy. Sorry? Real market. Good try. I mean, that's if that were a crossword, it would fit in well there. But no, not the right answer. Delhi Public School. Wall Street. And have you been there? No, sir. <laughs> Guessing. 75 points. Well done. Okay, then. Mount Carmel, your statement. FAFSA in the United States stands for Free Application for Federal Dash Aid. What is the dash, the word that I'm blanked out? It's a fill in the blank. You need to fill that blank for me. Do you want to invest? Students, yes, we want to stop. What? Stock market investment for 90 points. So, since it's a stock market investment for 90 points, what is your answer for this? Students. Free application for federal students' aid. So students like you can apply for federal aid to study well. And that is 90 points. 90 points on that one. <laughs> Moving on to the last team in this round. Your 75 pointer coming up for you on your screen. This is the inspection of various books of accounts followed by physical checking of inventory to make sure that all the departments are following documented system of recording transactions. Five letter word. You've got the letter D and a T in between. Pass it. Passing it across International School ICSE. Table number one. So pass. Table two, St. Dominic's. No? I'm moving you, St. Dominic's. Scholars, table number three. Pass. Pass to Delhi Public School. Sorry? Audit. Spell that? A U D I T. Are you interested in becoming a chartered accountant sometime in the future? No. But you're prepared for this quiz. That's the. Oh, you're not. <laughs> actually not. Okay. They, they say they're actually not prepared, but they've been answering questions like a charm. And that's a very, very good right answer. One round done. This is the opening bell that comes to a close and teams performing very, very well. Don't go anywhere. Keep watching. You're watching NSC's Financial Quest Season 6 from the city of Patna. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We've just completed the first segment of NSC's Financial Quest Season 6 from the city of Patna. Teams giving it a real go and scoring some good points. As of now, let's have a quick look at the scorecard and then we will move on to the second segment of this quiz. Coming up for you on your screen, let's take a look at the scores. In this round, it's all on the buzzer. You just need to get the buzzer timing right. Look at the question. Decide if you want to invest or not. Play it on a base value or invest. Give me a right answer. Get those points. Give me a wrong answer. The same amount of points will be deducted from your kitty. 
We start with the first of my questions. It's a bear question. Buzzers are all in play. They are all green. Here we go. Buddy Hoto Esa, mobile wallet you can trust, available in 13 languages for customers across banks. Whose offering is this? Which bank has launched this mobile wallet that you can trust? Someone's gone on the buzzer. That's table number one, international school. You've gone on the buzzer. What is your answer? SBI, State Bank of India. How do you know this? So my father is... Your father works for State Bank of India. Sometimes it's helpful having dads working in banks. Uh, but you don't want to invest. So stock exchange. Straight away to a stock exchange. Yes, that's 75 points, so that's 90 that you can make. And on the answer being State Bank of India. And he knows this because his father works in State Bank of India. And they do get 90 points on that. Well done, International School. And here comes the next question. Which country's current... Oh, 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 that was quick. That is table number two, St. Dominic's going on the buzzer. What is the answer? Well, before that... You want you to invest in stock market? It's South Africa. You want to invest in stock market. It's a 75-point question. You want to make 90 points out of it, and you're saying it's South Africa. That's a good 90 points for you. Good 90 points for you on uh, South Africa. And uh, let me just move on to the next question. India's international bank is the tagline of which bank? You can either give me a three-letter answer or a three-word answer. The three letters expands to three words. You're risking this, callers aboard. Uh, are you investing? No investment. You are playing it at base value. Okay. IMF. Sorry? IMF. IMF. As an international... Monetary fund. fund. The question is India's international bank. It's a bank in India. It's not the IMF. Minus 50 is what you take on that one, but well played. You played it on the base value, so not too much of a loss on that. I'm moving on then with a negative to scholars aboard on getting uh, India's international bank. The tagline of which bank is not IMF, it is Bank of Baroda. Okay, 100 points. You need to identify this person for me. Very, very important person. You need to identify. By identify, I need his name. His name, okay? Here we go. Oh, Mount Carmel off on a flash on the buzzer on that one. That's 100 points. Uh, what do you want to invest? Urjit Patel. What do you want to invest? Stock exchange. See, that's the point. When you think you know the answer, you just forget about the fact that you want to invest. What do you want to invest? Stock exchange. So that's 20%. 20 and your answer on that is? Urjit Patel. Patel. And why is this gentleman famous? Because he's the new RBI governor replacing Raburam Rajan. That is excitement. Yes. That is genuine excitement. 120 <laughs> points is what you get. Good one on getting Urujit Patel, right? Mr. Patel, of course, replacing Governor Rajan. Uh, moving on then to the next one. This is another 100 pointer. Here we go. This bank sued AT&T because the telecom giant used the phrase AT&T thanks on its loyalty program. Where the bank's loyalty program is called Thank You that has 15 million subscribers. Which international or global bank is this? Someone, Delhi Public School, after a lot of argument between the two have gone on the buzzer. First up, are you investing at all? Not investing, you're playing at base value. What's the answer? World Bank. Ah, minus 100. Minus 100. That was an unnecessary risk. Just when I was about to call off the buzzer, the answer on that one is Citibank. Citibank was the bank that sued AT&T, not the World Bank. But that brings us to the end of trading. Another round run, another riveting round at partner, I must say. And teams, whether on the buzzer, taking risk or not, are doing very, very well. Don't go anywhere. I've got one more segment to play. And that segment is going to decide who the champion of partner is going to be. Okay, we'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. You're watching NSC's Financial Quest, Season 6. Welcome back. It is NSC's Financial Quest Season 6 from the City of Partner. Two excellent rounds and this is how the scoreboard looks. On your screen, the scoreboard, before we go on to the last and decider of a segment. But before that, scores on your screen now.
let's go on, ladies and gentlemen, to the last of my segments. Here it comes for you on your screen. Here we go. The origin is, the word is derived from the old French word forget, meaning pouch or wallet. In the late 19th century, the use of the term was extended from government to other finances. The meaning of the word is an annual or other regular estimate of national revenue and expenditure. DPS, you've gone on the buzzer, are you investing? I want to invest in the stock market. Stock market, so that makes it 120. For 120, if you get it wrong, it's minus 120. What is the word? Budget. Spell that? B-U-D-G-E-T. National revenue and expenditure put forward by the finance minister is the budget. You lost out on 100 last time. This time you're going on a stock market. You get back 120 points. Good one on that one. Uh, the next one, it's a big question. 75 points. You can make up to 90 on the stock market. And here comes the question and fingers of the buzzer for everyone. In total, Visa implemented 4,000 NFC enabled point of sale terminals across all key venues which are capable of accepting mobile and wearable payments from devices such as smartphones and watches. All venues, or rather all key venues of what event in 2016? Huge global event for 75 points. Anybody willing to risk it? Oh, it's DPS <laughs> partner again. Uh, are you investing? No. Not investing, so it's only 75 points. Okay, go for it. Rio Olympics. Rio Olympics. That's another 75 points. I don't know why you did not go for the investment. You should have just gone. You are not sure. You are not sure. Okay. But at least you get the 75, right? That's uh, 125 plus 75. That's a 200 point lead. You girls need to wake up at some point and start taking some risks or else they're going to run away with the quiz. Next one is a stag question. So it's only 50 points. It's easy risk for everybody to take. But here's the question coming up for you. Earning $400,000 a year while in office, which country's president is entitled to a pension, staff in office expenses, medical care or health insurance, and secret service protection after his or her term ends? DPS again. You want to invest? Stock market. Stock market. So that takes it to 60 points. Yeah, go on. US president. What, what makes you say that? Secret service. The secret service. That was the clue in the question. Well, well identified clue on that one. Okay, 60 points is what DPS get on that one. That's a well identified clue. I'd... Okay, moving on. Got two more questions. My question to you is, IDA or International Development Association is a part of which organization? Mount Carmel's, you've gone on the buzzer on this one. This. Base, so that's 100 points. International Monetary Fund. Again, that's the same answer they gave. This time the answer is the World Bank. It's not the IMF. That's a minus 100 that you get on that. But that's okay. I truly enjoyed the fact that you actually attempted it and did not just stand, be a bystander. That was a good job on that. You need All you need to identify and tell me, whose advertisement is this? Here we go. Attention TDS deductors. Have you deducted proper TDS? Dash has compiled the list of all TDS defaulters. DPS again. You're taking this risk knowing even if you take a negative is okay. Stock market. Stock market. Go for it. Income tax department. Income tax department. And what does TDS stand for? You don't know. Okay, since you're being honest and you're saying you don't know, let me tell you this. The, the idea of this quiz is to help you guys learn something. TDS stands for Tax Deducted, Deducted at Source. So it is, of course, the Income Tax Department. And that would mean 120 points to you guys. A mammoth 120. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three different segments and fighting a royal battle here, Mount Carmel, I think the pressure got onto them. Nothing taking away from St. Dominic Savios. They scored their two points, did not take any risks after that. Uh, they finished runner-up here today with 165 points. Good job, Dominic Savio. Well done on 165.
We have completed three cities. We started off with Coimbatore. We then moved on to Shillong. And today we are at Patna. We have had three excellent champions qualifying for the national semi-final. And I can promise you one thing. The national semi-final is going to be way tougher than what you had today. So please be prepared for a change. Don't come and wing it there. But if you can wing it the way you did it today, kudos to you. If you can still do that, great, great job on that. But three outstanding champions, it's just the beginning. We are out on a journey across this country to find the financial wizards of this nation. The young ones who are prepared in the world of finance way before the rest. I'm Lloyd Saldana, your host, signing off. I hope you've enjoyed the show. This is NSE's Financial Quest Season 6, powered by CNBC TV 18. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.